channel um i say our channel but obviously jack's not here with me because he's still in southampton working um so basically i'm gonna do sort of like a little three-day vlog this week um i've got lots of christmasy things going on this week um and so i'm also back down in cornwall um back in my dad's place um because i come down every year for christmas and i had a few days off work so i thought i'd come down and decorate the place like I normally do um because he's not gonna do it um so I thought today whilst I'm on my own I would do like sort of a sit down so you can see what I have um and maybe just do like a time lapse of me decorating because I freaking love watching people decorate at Christmas time because I think it's great and then tomorrow Jack will be back down from Southampton so um yeah he'll be back down and then we are going uh christmas shopping tomorrow in truro so that'll be fun because we're going with my family as well so we'll also vlog that and it'll be quite nice and christmasy because i've not been to truro with all the christmas lights and market and everything up yet so that'll be nice because we go every year and then saturday uh where i am at the moment they're doing their um their christmas light switch on and fireworks so that'd be nice and Christmassy because they have done an amazing job like I can see them like all now like setting it all up and putting them all up and it looks brilliant and I also thought um I've also brought down all the bits that I've bought for my bottom drawer down to this place because no one's really here during the week because I say it's my dad's flat but he tends to stay at his girlfriend's more or so so it's basically just me here whenever I come down really so I am just storing it here really for the time being. I haven't got loads, but I thought seeing as uh, the last vlog was also about like bottom drawers and stuff, I thought I'd actually just show you what I have seeing as I'm here and I can show you. But for now, I'm just gonna get myself ready. I'm feeling a no makeup day and I can't be bothered to wash my hair because no one's gonna see me today uh, apart from you. So you just have to bear with my little demons on my face today, I'm afraid. But yeah, so I'm gonna go get ready and I'll see you again in a second. Hi guys, so I'm ready now. I haven't really done much. I dry and my hair and just shove some mascara on. Um, so I am in my living room now and I'm just gonna quickly show you what I have for Christmas. I'm really sorry that I, it's a bit of a, like a bad angle, but I haven't got like a stand or anything like that yet. So. I'm just going to go through what I've got. Um, obviously, you have to have Christmas tree chocolates. And one of my favourite things, I don't know why, Jack absolutely hates it, but I've got, um, like, a Santa Claus. Um, it's, like, to go underneath your toilet, like a toilet. Um, I can't think of what you call it, like a toilet seat cover sort of thing. And then I've got one that's actually go on, like, the actual toilet seat and i just love it and then you get like a little toilet roll one but we don't tend to actually use that really and then decoration wise what have i got in here baubles by the sounds of it oh, so i've got these little lights here i love these lights um i put these over the um they're all a bit tangled up i don't know if they work do they work yeah can you i don't know you can't really but it's just such a nice blue colour and I pop them over the uh, living room door because it's quite nice because I'm I tend to make the living room like more of like like as Christmassy as I can so when I put them over the door it sort of makes it like you're coming into like a little Christmas grotto it's quite nice and then I've got these baubles here actually not going to come out I'll get these ones out first so I've got these here which is an array of things I've got some like sort of like drop down um like icicle ones um so like these ones and we've got some silver ones here and these uh like rose gold shimmered reindeers and i love them i got this from b&m last year um for 2.49 so it's quite nice and they make the tree look quite different and then i've got these lights here I think these are the lights I put on the tree. I can't actually remember where I put these lights because we have a pre-lit tree. I 
can't remember, I'm gonna have to figure that out. I think I put these on the tree as well because I don't think the pre-lit tree is very bright. Oh no, I can't remember what I did with these. <laughs> and then I've got these baubles here, which I've had for a couple of years now. Um, just like silver ones, because it worked quite well ooh, with the rose gold ones. Um, so it's like an array of different type ones, like different um, textures. And then my favourite thing, I've got these two little squirrels um, to put on the tree. And um, oh, they're just so cute. I love them. Let's start with that bag. And then this one here, I've got a little, oh, what's this coming out of it? Love. Oh. I've got this little tree here. It's um, it's upside down. It's just a little blue light up tree. It's what my dad used to have before we would um, like, well, I begged him to get a proper tree, like a big proper tree. So this one I put in the kitchen window because it's quite nice and it looks quite cute. So has that one there. And it's got like little baubles and stuff on it as well. But I think last year I I added a few of like these ones from the other tree. Um, I can't quite remember. And then I've got all this tinsel here. Oh, it's actually quite in good condition. That's good. So I'll use that again this year. Um, so yeah, I put this last year along our banister. Um, and I then, I'm in here. Oh yeah, I have these lights. These lights here, they're like these, these like wired ones. So last year, see if they work, they work. Yeah, they weren't. So uh, they're like bright white ones and I wrapped them around the banister as well. So it looks quite nice going through all the um, the tinsel. And then this bit, this is also my favourite bit because we can never like, you never make the kitchen like look that Christmassy. And it's like a little, um, it's, you know, when you, like if you was in primary school, I don't know what they use now, but when I was in primary school, they had like those um proper old like rut those um like those sacks you know to do like the rucksack race the rucksack the sack race and um, so it's that sort of like material and it just says merry christmas on it and i just pop it along the wall at the back of the kitchen and that was fun to put up last year i'm gonna have to wait for my dad to do that because it, i can't do it and then i've got these little they don't work anymore actually i think the snowman might oh it works a little bit um, this one here, he's lost his bottom. I don't know where it's gone. But these little snowman and um, Father of Christmas, I just put on the uh, like the worktop behind the sink in the kitchen. And then I've got these lights here as well. Um, they say Merry Christmas. They're all tangled up now, but you obviously you'll see it in a minute. Oh, they still work. These batteries are awesome. Um, so these little lights here, they say Merry Christmas, and I also put them in the kitchen just above the table. What else have I got on here? Then I've got these little wax santa claus which i have never actually lit because i don't want them to melt um so i've never actually lit them because i think they look quite cute and i have no idea where they're these from i think these are like years old um and i put them along the kitchen as well with the other um father christmas and snowman so i've got this bag here as well this one, oh, it's so messy because it's probably a glory. It's a little Merry Christmas that I hang on the front door um, just because it looks cute. And I have this tinsel here as well. Um, and this tinsel, I think I put over the bathroom door, um, I think. And then I've got these lights here, which I pop them over the front door as well because it looked quite cute coming into some Christmassy. And uh, again, I think this is just another pack of them. Yeah, so I think I used two packs last year to do that. And then my nan, she's obsessed with like little um, like reindeer things. So and like cuddly toys. So I got this one. And I don't know if it does it work. So I got that and I put that on the sideboard outside. And this uh, this is another little squirrel, like the tree one. And last year I put this on the table to go with like the table set layout. Um, so I'll leave that out for now because I think we're gonna have dinner down my nan's this year. Um, so I'll take that down hers instead because I think she, it's actually hers anyway, I think. And then, oh, she's just obsessed with these freaking things here. So I got this as well. Does this one work? Come on, everybody! This one is probably my favorite. Come 
There's that one. And then I've got another one because you know she can't obviously have too many. I'm just gonna take that back up. I don't know where where's the hand to. No. And that was ten pounds. That was ten pounds. Jesus. And then what's this? Oh, I've got these as well. This I don't know. I don't know if I can use them this year because I think they've ripped a little bit. But I might have to stitch them up. But they're just um I like the Santa Claus um the toilet seat cover, but they're to go on the back of the seats, um or like the back of the chairs. Um see so yeah, I just got two little Santa Claus ones, so that's fine. And then what else? That must be that must be it. Um those lights are really throwing me because I have no idea where I put them. And then my dad bought this this year. I have no idea where he wants me to put it. It's just a little stick on side of you know, in the window. And then obviously we've got our, I might as well show you, it'll be easier that way. We've got our, um, we've got a six foot pre-lit uh, Christmas tree. And it's quite nice once you pop it up. And I think I did put those lights on there because I don't think it, um, I don't think they were that bright, but. I can't remember because it's throwing me. There are a few things missing actually. I did have a like a star that I put in my room and that's not down here. So that must still be in the attic. And a little Santa Claus that I put in the front room and that also must be in the attic. Um, but I don't want to go up there because it is, they, we've just had the roof retiled. And so everything's been moved and I, there's loads of spiders up there. So, and I don't really want to go up there on my own because it's a right pain in the ass to get up. So, yeah, so what well, I might go up there, I don't know yet. We'll see. Um, so I'm going to get on and try and set some of this up. And while I do it, I will time lapse it. I don't really know what to start with first. I think the tree, because I just struggle with the tree. It's it's the fluffing out of the tree that I just can't do. Um, so, yeah, I'll start with that first. <laughs>
awkward angle. I don't know if you're near me because I'm embarrassed to hold my phone up properly. But we're in Truro now, um, Christmas shopping. Um, hang on. Jack's finally back from work. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, so we're going to do some Christmas shopping now. Just doing the Christmas market. And there's my nan. And so we'll just have a look around here. And but obviously not because we're going in the white company. What are we doing in here? We can't afford anything in here. Really cute though. What? Honestly, that tree is just so pretty. I wish I could have something like that in my living room. <laughs> so, what are you doing? Eating chips. Are you not sharing? Cornwall chips. <laughs> you didn't want any. Well, that's not what I said though, is it? Ch yeah, I was nice. No. <laughs> guys and welcome to day three of um this vlog um why are you looking at me like that <laughs> um we haven't really done much today literally just chilled and just been watching netflix all day we've just watched the christmas prince the royal baby because i've been waiting all year for it <laughs> what <laughs> Jack didn't like it very much. Um, so yeah, it's currently, what time is it actually? Half five? Six o'clock? Five. Oh, so it's five o'clock at the minute. The light switch on and fireworks is at half six. Um, I think my dad's coming in in a moment and we're gonna go out and watch them. Um, Jack's currently buying me Christmas presents. I won't give any hints of what he's buying me. you look more interested <laughs> you look so tired mm. well, it's tomorrow. yeah so we are gonna just cook uh, some tea a moment and then we'll go out and watch the fireworks
guys so this is the end of our vlog now we hope you've enjoyed it because it was quite crispy i know you've not seen jack much so i've told him to come in this bit um and at the beginning of the vlog i did say that i would quickly show you the things that i've got so far for when we do move um i kept forgetting that i said i was going to do it so i don't know quickly just to end the vlog so we haven't got loads have we but no, we don't. it's we've we've actually mostly got kitchen things haven't we so uh, that's i think when you move i think kitchen and like a bedroom i think that's the most essential thing you need to have like straight away isn't it as you can hear jack's favorite thing is this little cheese grater um we saw something like it the other day on that what was his name? James May, that like cooking channel. Yeah. And um, the food tribe, and then um, ow, and um, I found one of these ages ago, and um, Jack said, "Oh, that's what James May uses." So now he's happy that I've bought it. Um, tea towels. I also bought these tea towels a few weeks ago in ASDA. They were just quite nice, just little grey coloured ones, and I just quite liked the. I quite like yellow and grey, so I'm trying to slowly get into Jack's head that we're going to have a grey and yellow possible themed living room. Either. Yeah, but this isn't. These are um, like fantastic, but I just got these when um, I bought the plates because when I bought the plates, we was actually going to be moving straight away, wasn't we? But um, it, it fell, well, it fell through because we just couldn't do it. Um, so I just got these as just like a last resort and it was cheap and I got these in Dunelm, but they're, they're quite nice. If They've got all different sayings on and it's well it's good enough to eat off for now and then we got i won't show you all of them but we got these ones here uh these tea coffee and sugar pots um and from from oh, is it? oh yeah i got biscuit one as well and these are all from dunelm as well and um, they were six pounds each and they're just quite cute and then i didn't want very big ones all oh, the receipts are in there <laughs> um i didn't want very big ones because well we don't really drink coffee or tea and the sugar one we probably would end up just putting our baking like sort of sugar in there anyway but it's big enough for when someone comes and visits and we'll sometimes have a tea or coffee. I mean, these are dust in here. Anything else in here? No, that's it. Oh okay. Um, and we got the glasses but we also showed you them in the last video. Um, and the other day it was uh, Black Friday as you all know and we went into Curry's because um jack was trying to get some ideas of what he wanted for christmas from his family and stuff and we saw this kettle that uh, i want is it would you say it's breville breville oh, Google. Well, i don't know i think it's breville but um me and jack said that we always wanted this one or the white version mm -hmm. but they're normally 70 pounds each and yeah, we've got the toaster as well matching toaster yeah because you have to have matching well, normally 80 quid each well yeah they're like there's like 79.99 each whereas in the black friday sale they were 35 pounds each so we got both for the price of one so we was like well yeah we're not moving Bye. but we're gonna get it because we will be moving and it's just good to have and i can't wait to use it and if you can't tell my kitchen theme is me going to be a little gray thing <laughs> um and then the last thing is these plates here um they where are the um the coasters they must be in that bag as well um oh, we got oh, these yeah, plates yeah. as well from Danelm. i want to say these were like 25 pound i think but they're really nice um they've got uh four of each and i nearly didn't get them because it had sort of you can sort of tell they've got like sort of like the gold um uh like plating on it but uh i looked at the box and it says you can microwave it so that's fine um and they're quite nice and then the only reason i got those placemats was because you could get matching uh coasters and they also matched with the plates so i just thought well why not and they sort of had the same sayings as um make it happen and all you need is love um so that's all we have at the moment but like i said well we have got other things as well like um my nan has got um like a massive set of saucepans uh, that she's never used and they're quite good ones they're like from a they're from like a, a big known chef but i can't remember the top of my head what uh he was called but they are quite they're, they're, 
no they're they're quite expensive ones i think um yeah, so nice. yeah so she has kindly said that we can have them when we move because saucepans are so expensive aren't they like to get a proper like non-stick good like long term like yeah like long term um that's the only thing we need to get actually is like frying pans and stuff but they tend to be on the sale quite a lot in like asda and stuff um and cutlery we don't need to get cutlery because when my mum and dad got married they're not together anymore um they got given a silverware set so gonna be using silver. i'm gonna be using silverware to eat my food with and i don't mind that um but yeah that's it for the time being obviously we we're hoping now that we I are going to be moving i turned it on just a minute ago we're um, going to be hopefully moving beginning to well hopefully march time aren't we we've set our goal for march Possibly, yeah. We'll see. um but yeah like we said if it doesn't happen in march we definitely will be moving at some point next year we've just got to wait for jackie boy to be taken on permanently from january the first um so yeah yeah but that's the end of our vlog this week we hope you've really enjoyed it it's a little bit longer but like i said i didn't i didn't really want to keep splitting up because i knew that the shopping in truro and the christmas lights wasn't going to be a really big long vlog um so that's why i thought i'd just insert snippets of it in um so yeah i hope you really enjoyed this week um i have no idea what i'm gonna film next week because i literally have nothing going on next week oh, so man. yeah and you're not here at all um so yeah next week the vlog will probably just be me but i think i might be going to a garden center which that would be nice because i need to go and get things like that but yeah but they've got christmas stuff and i need to get some christmas um card holders so yeah so that's the end of the vlog this week guys hope you've really enjoyed it so if you did just make sure you comment like and subscribe and yeah, so um, we'll see you. Well, I'll see you next week. Turn the notifications on. I'll do that. I forgot. <laughs>